I do have combo this turn. We're basically even, so yeah, that's a problem. Just gonna like, go for attack it. this guy and then just let him move there, right? Yeah. Just making me too nervous to play anything good. Because you, you think I should get in there? He's not gonna attack you. He's just going hard. Rush right He's in. He's going hard in. Okay, I'm getting really into this now, so don't okay. fall for oh, his so mind I, tricks, I Daniel. Welcome to A Good Knack, the shelf side playthrough. For this fantasy tactical card game, it's normally played 1v1. But you might have noticed we have four people. What's up with that? Because we're doing a variant, the team game. Me and Steven versus Pranav and Jason. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. In Good Knack, Good Knock, Good Knack. Uh, we'll just call it Good Knack. Anyways, in Good Knack, this lively fantasy world is dying. So we've split into two teams to fight for it. To win, just be the last team standing, and how you die is by your deck running out. So if you draw the Stronghold card, you're dead. To hurt your opponent's Stronghold, you want to get a unit at their gates. Every turn you'll drop the top card of your deck, then do two actions. That's it. You can play a card down in the areas next to your Stronghold, or move something, or use an ability. Just make sure that unit fatigues after any action. Attacking something adjacent to you is also another action where the stronger value wins. And keep in mind some units have advantage against other types. Oh, there's also something called a stack where friendly units can move onto each other, and the top unit is the only one that does stuff. It's like the rest doesn't exist until the top guy dies. You can also play these card called tactics that are super strong spells, the action cost is in the corner here. Also also, you can defend your stronghold by discarding cards equal to that opponent's unit's strength. Get out of here. After you do two actions, you unfatigue all of your guys. Final very important thing, if you get a guy to your opponent's gate, it makes them sieged. Instead of drawing a card, they must mill or discard the top card of their deck into the grave. There's heroes and fighters which have different strengths and powers. All will be revealed. Today, we have four different factions that all operate a bit differently, and everyone has just played a practice game, started deck building while colluding with their teammate, so now let's meet these competitors. Hello, I am Daniel of Shelfside, here to play Gutnak with our good Shelfside friends. All right, my name's Steven, and I have no experience with card games like these at all. This is my first card game. Hi, I'm Pranav, and uh, my experience with this board game was playing it once. Hey, I'm Jason. Uh, I'm the Root Fanatic, but now I guess in this episode, I'm also the Card Game Fanatic. I've played a lot of different card games. I've played like Flesh and Blood. Yeah, I've been to a lot of card game tournaments, mostly for fun. Um, I don't really win too much of those, but yeah. We are team dominant and impotent because him, as the refractory period guys, are extremely not able to bust. No, not not one bit. Our team name is Skin and Bones because I have characters with bones. And I have characters with skin. Bones. They will be submissive and breed, but we are dominant and impotent, so this just does not work out. Yep. <laughs> I think we have decent odds of winning because uh, I think we've planned a strategy and the other team hasn't. <laughs> That's me. Am I wrong? <laughs> Am I wrong? We're dominant. We got it. They call me the Rizzler outside. Mm -hmm. I will draw for my turn. I like that card. All right, now, now I need to figure out what to do because that changes my plans entirely. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Because before, I didn't like man, now I like man. I'm the Delgins. Dolgins, Delgins. Belgium, yeah. They're weirdos, they're cultists. What do you expect? I love Cthulhu. I was like, I gotta play as these guys, they're funny. One card, huh? I know, right? <laughs> One card One changes card your hand? everything, I'm kinda scared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna just uh, build up some board. We're gonna play my goons, my deep rock soldiers, the boys, we going in. Uh, and then we're also gonna play, uh, Crick I don't even know how to say his name. It's a dude, uh, he's two power. If he would be destroyed, uh, I can instead sacrifice a friendly fighter, so, yeah. Basically, I just looked at our cards, like, alright, what makes the most cultists? What sacrifices stuff? Because I don't want to sacrifice Steven's stuff, I want to sacrifice my own cultists. And I threw all that in. Okay, cool. Mm. I'm gonna draw for turn. Okay. I'm gonna play my Amalgam Brute. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play my Amalgam Brute here. And I'll play my Skeletal Soldier, soldier, which is a level 1 fighter. So, I have the Craven Prince, and my strategy is to camp this guy right outside someone's gates, and his ability is that every time he would be destroyed, I can destroy another 1-point monster that I control. I have a ton of cards that resurrect 1-point monsters in this deck. I'm gonna camp this guy right in front of someone's gates, probably Daniel, uh, and wait for him to mill out. That's my goal. Maybe his hand's bad. All right, See, maybe this front turn. is just full of weak dudes, and that front would be crazy. I will play level 1 Ogre Brute. And then overlay a second level two ogre brute on top. 
Overlay, yeah, we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Xyz monsters out here, yeah? Oh, yeah. So, uh, I'm playing Shard Sworn Alliance. They are some amalgamation of some random fantasy races like orcs, elves, and then there's like a, a chimera and a dragon too. I don't know, it's just random. Uh, I think a lot of this faction is very similar to, if you played Magic, Jund, which is red, green, and black. Oh, okay. Fine, you know what? Um... I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna do the same thing as Jason did with my two level one luminous shieldsmen that are just the sword guys. And I'm gonna put them right over here. They're swordsmen that are loom. Oh, wait, no, that, they're that's swordsmen right. are lubed up. Yeah. yeah, well, it's that guy and then a uh, battle cleric of Solera. And I'll end my turn. Uh, I'm gonna be playing as the refractory. Uh, clan they're a bunch of religious zealots and they I, I just chose them because they praise the sun and i'm all about that from what i ascertained at least they're supposed to be kind of uh, haters of everyone else because they don't love the sun as much as they are but whatever that's their problem for my turn i draw i'm gonna move the dude up and then i'm gonna play the underchurch reverend and that guy gets me a cultist at the start of my turn but, you know, right now it's the end of my turn, so yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna draw for turn. Oh, two. Finally, my cards have text on them. I know. Okay, I'm gonna overlay my Amalgam Brute. <sighs> what do you mean you have this brute. guy out there? This is a tier 3 Amalgam Brute, so it has 3 attack. I'm scared. And then I'm going to... I'm gonna ditch my Malevolent Presence underneath here. That's all. Malevolent Presence is a tier 3 monster that can stack underneath another monster, making it pretty difficult to destroy. In this case, once uh, Daniel's card here gets destroyed, we can start sieging Daniel's base. All right, Elmer. I draw for turn. I will play an Elven Ranger and then use his ability. His ability says, destroy target non-adjacent enemy tier one. That is four or less squares. One, two, three, four. This is tier one, so I will destroy this. That's awful. See, these guys are supposed to be like knights with armor. They just keep getting destroyed. What's up with that? Yeah, doesn't he have like a shield or something? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. You know, I the whole point not. of bringing giant not. shields into war is to block arrows. I just curved the arrow. Easy. Mm. So if they have a lot of sword guys, sword guys beat hunters, and because my deck is hunter focused, if they just have a lot of sword guys, it will be a bit of a problem. <laughs> a lot of my guys are very, uh, they're beefy. They rely on a lot of co close quarters, but when it comes to like kind of sniping and stuff, that's kind of where they are almost non-existent. I'm gonna draw this dust or place down this dusk light hunter level three. Um, he's good against Big brutes. Mm. And hmm, hmm, this is making me do a big think. <laughs> Why think? Hold W. Oh. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that. Just forward. <laughs> That's it. That's my turn. Just moved him there. For my turn, I draw, and I also get a cultist in my hand, who's just like a useless idiot who loves being sacrificed, because that's what cultists do. So I would have loved if Pranav was on my team. He loves being sacrificed, so that's a win-win. Unfortunately, I'm with Steven. I don't think he likes him when his guys get sacrificed. They're kind of like knights and just dudes that go in and, uh, are pretty strong. In that case, I will move my Deep Rock Soldier up, and then I will play a Cultist here, and I will end my turn. Wait, it is nice and good. how did you gain a Cultist? You this guy gives me a Cultist to start my turn. Okay. Every turn. On my turn, I will draw. That's so good, shit. Yeah, I wish I drew that first time last time, right? Oh <laughs> my god. Okay, I'm gonna kill that guy. I'm gonna make this guy attack this guy specifically. Oh my god, that's crazy. Can you can do, that. do that? Target yeah. enemy one attacks adjacent target one or two. He's dead. Cool. Wow. That's yeah, that's I, I was that looking at that. That is hella like, good. Getting rid of that one. And then I'll play a skeletal soldier yeah, on top of this. Keep one. it consistent. All right. Keep it that's here. my turn. Go ahead. I'm partnered with Jason, uh, and I think his strategy generally uh, is around hunters. Well, so he doesn't have a lot of the sword fighters. So I've chosen a lot of sword fighters to compensate for that to sort of balance out the game. I will draw for turn, and then all right, I will just proc the ability and destroy this tier one because more away. Uh, didn't need him anyways. And then I will actually draw another card. I didn't really pay attention to a lot of the cards that the opponents had, so uh, I'm probably going to get gotcha quite a bit at times. I love how we just destroyed two of Steven's cool named guys right off the bat. What did it even do, man? Come on, what is... Uh, one of them targets one another friendly one. fighter to not get attacked. Oh, that could have actually been good. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, whatever. And then uh, the other guy can... 
Adjacent mm -hmm. friendly fighters have one plus when being attacked, so a maximum of three. Those are pretty good. There's more stats and, uh, you know, getting attacked. Not, dude, you guys never even attack him. What the... you, you think I should get in there? He's not going to attack you. He's just... You sure about that? All right, I'm going to play the level two bull... Oh, wait, I got to draw first. Get, get this dude in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no, in, in time. One sec. Uh, I'm going to play this level two bull griff who has the ability to pick up and deploy fighters uh, into any any empty square. In this case, I'm gonna put them right over here at the gate. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I love Steven, he's awesome. That's Thank you, nuts. Daniel. I love oh you too. my god. Okay, sure. So I finally looked at his deck, so I know what he does now. He's gonna just gonna go hard. He's yeah, gonna go gonna, in, he's gonna go in hard. Rush right he's in. He's going hard in, alright? Not too hard though, because, you know, refractory period. We're gonna just slow down the game <laughs> until we can win, basically. Yeah, I think I have a lot of like control A cards that let me deal with a lot of my opponents, uh, guys. And also possession is a very useful mechanic, I think. And uh, that's that's literally it. That's my turn. <laughs> For my turn, I right, draw. And just to double check, Jason, sacrifice is not the same thing as destroy, right? So if I were to sacrifice this guy, I would not proc his on destroy ability. Yeah. I, I, I don't think Jason would probably even think I'm threatening because in the first game we played, literally, I didn't do anything. I was just playing vanilla cards and attacking, which, you know, is not going to beat cards of text on them. Cards of text are very good. I don't know I want to do that. That is a problem. That is a big problem, actually. <laughs> I don't have an answer. That's just it's pretty goofy. I like that. I think so. Yeah. I do. I do like that. I'm thinking about what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Well, this this is definitely. Up. I'm gonna move my goon up. My my crack. It's quite the mouthful. You know, we're also just gonna just put the cultist like. Eh. Mm. Yeah, I might want to block. I don't know. Mm. I didn't want to do this. This like, do I want to leave this lane open or I move him out of the way? I don't know. Too damn bad, Jason. You know what? We're gonna play no, an it. Echo Hunter here. He's a guy with a crossbow, I think. Or I know he has two pickaxes. I mean, Go ahead. Unless we have an answer okay. for this, I have no other answer. Turn, I'll draw. Yeah. Um, no, stop thinking. Just act. <laughs> just gotta like, go for attack it. this guy and then just let him move there, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also just gonna go hard and go in, and maybe every now and then his guy goes too hard in, and I just have to kill him because sacrifice. It happens. Okay, the thing is, I do have combo this turn, so if you don't have an answer, it's okay. It just costs a lot because we don't have any synergies. Oh, don't worry, what a shame. All right, uh, I'm gonna shift this guy over here. And then I'm gonna play. <laughs> All right, well, unfortunate, I must have mill. Uh, that is very sad. This is one of the better cards. But, uh, you know, Revenge for things the happen, Trevor. so my first turn thing, so this one out of this turn. I'll do that, and then I will deploy the Shard Dragon, which oh, there he is. I can destroy another friendly fighter and then target enemy fighter with equal or less power and destroy it. So as much as you want. I can repeat that as much as I want. So the first thing I'll do is do this. Destroy this to destroy the bull griff. Then right. I will destroy rest this. To destroy this. All right, rest in peace again. That's fine. I just clear the board. Then I will play Burnout, which gives me an action for each of my cards that was destroyed this turn. So I destroyed three. So I get three more actions. Um. Ah, yes, we love that card plus dragon. Clear the board even more. I will draw one card. So my first action. And then I will play. <laughs> A tier three hunter and a tier one hunter. Yeah, so I was forced to use my big shard dragon, which was my big combo card very early. It wasn't too bad because I had the combo in my hand, but being forced to use it that early means I didn't really go positive from it. I kind of went maybe a little bit. Uh, well, I'm gonna play this one guy, this dusk like hunter who's level one. Uh, he's good against brutes. But uh, that's literally it, and I'm just gonna move him here. I draw. Hey, another sacrifice card. Yeah. Oh, I, lo I love my guy. Who did this. <laughs> to be honest, I'm just gonna be praying to the sun really hard that uh, that I'm able to pull something out of my ass and just and just win the game. <laughs> Actually, even looking at the boards now, we don't really have advantage. We're basically even. So yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> You know, I guess I may as well, this guy attacks that, just beats it, it's 2 over 1, right, why not? Uh, and then he just taps it, but he doesn't move in. 
It does, right? Yeah, he does. Oh, oh. automatically. Oh, I know it. It's pretty good. Okay. Well then, uh, I guess I just play more goons. Uh, what's this guy? Is this guy that made, makes me move? Which one is this? The guy that we'll destroy See, I would love that card. I would use that to destroy. <laughs> Why was that? Sacrificing any that aren't cold just it feels very bad. I don't think I should do that. Instead, we're just gonna just play a goon. Uh, let's play a guy with a sword. Is the more more deep rock soldiers. It's tier two, and you go ahead. I know a card because nice. Daniel's knocking at my gates. We are one card. We I'm gonna play a skeletal sword soldier. And back and skeletal soldier. Okay. That sucks. Uh, so that's that's my two actions. This guy's now mine again. Malevolent. I draw four turns. I'll move the Star Dragon up in the first action. And in my second action, I will play Master of the Hunt. His ability is Hunters may control, uh, you control may take actions while fatigued. And so it has more tempo, but doesn't move in. Okay, that's. Hmm. He doesn't snipe you or anything. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that both Daniel and Steven got to our respective gates very early and forced us to mill a card means that we're effectively both, if you're considering our deck, our HP one HP down from them, so we're definitely behind. Not gonna lie, this one, not the most optimistic about. So, you know, hopefully the luck goes my way. All right, which charge of theirs are good? The three is, this is really bad. This is just gonna allow. He doesn't really care about that guy? He cares about that guy. See, this guy- Do you care he, about this guy? Uh, this guy's kind of annoying to kill though, because he would be destroyed, you said destroy one of his little goons. So I'm just gonna play this Dusklight Hunter, who's uh, an armor piercing guy, he's good against brutes, and this Dawn Bringer brute who's good against soldiers. And uh did I drop more dudes, yeah, I yeah. did I did drop my turn. And that's it. That's it. I draw. That is goofy. I don't know what I can do with that yet. Much so let's just start getting guys in position. I'm gonna move this guy up, and then we're gonna play another dude. Let's just play uh, a guy with an axe with level two, and that's my turn. Go ahead. That is good and nice. I'm gonna draw for turn. I have guys on the board. Look, see, it's just like my trio of tier twos. Hey, same here. Except I got a tier one. <laughs> but he's holding the fort. I should use him as a guy. Whoa. Malevolent presence. Yes, the malevolent presence is right up top there, uh, and that's gonna hopefully go in, do a little bit of damage, and clear the way for the main actor, which is the Craven Prince. So once they deal with the Malevolent Presence, the Craven Prince will just swoop right in, and then I'll have a one, bunch of ones set up that I can start recurring once I get that Necromancer into my hand. All right, so because of Master of the Hunt- a better version of this guy. I can take multiple actions with the same Hunter, because <laughs> um, Hunters my, my control may attack when, or may take actions with Fatigue, so I'll move it up, Fatigue's it, but I can still take actions with it. So I'll attack this. I have plus one when attacking Brutes, so it destroys both of them. Oh. And then I will move so it probably. Readjusted for that. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I draw. Well, uh, I used my game-winning strategy within like the first uh, two rounds, just because I kind of got desperate. And now he spawned in that Jason spawned in that damn dragon, and it just making me too nervous to play anything good because he's just gonna blow it up with some random bullshit. And so. <laughs> oh, it, oh, it's it's not doing any. Okay, so just a board clear and then a one-time use board clear thing. Okay, well that makes me feel a lot better now. Okay, so I move this Dusklight Hunter right over here. And, We're friends. Uh, we are, Next best week. best of buds. And I'm gonna put this Dawn Steel Paladin, who uh, is, he's a hero tier three. And he, I'm bad at reading things from afar because I'm getting blind. Um, <laughs> You may resolve the effects of friendly tactics and additional time. That means nothing to me because my turn's already over. I draw for my turn. You know what? We're just gonna help Steven out and hopefully it does something. We're gonna we're gonna use a secret tunnel secret to just tunnel. Move, move this guy secret. into a non-gate back row square. It doesn't say the exhaust or anything. It's just a move. I'm just gonna put there. And he also gets plus one power until the end of my turn. So he's a three now. So we just haven't attacked the dragon until so they both back. Oh, thank the Lord. That's my turn. Go ahead. The draw for my turn. Start by attacking. Go, Hunter. Ow. Slide into there. Chris. He's sliding into my DMs. I'm gonna bring <clears throat> okay, I'm getting really into this now. So, my strategy that I planned for with my deck is actually working, and I think I have a proper decoy ready, so I think this is gonna go really, really well. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna play a brute. Oh, go ahead. It's a tier three brute. 
Oh my. And uh, apparently tier three brutes have three heads, so you know. That's good. Oh that makes sense, God. actually. Logically, they have two. Yeah, and apparently, I didn't notice it before, but tier two brutes also have two heads, so. <laughs> and I'm drawing for turn. Nice. Song. Steven, I need help. Or just kill Jason. I don't know if those works. Um, that would be very nice if I could do that, but right now, I. Hmm. Thinking's hard. I'm just gonna draw for. Uh, draw. For turn. Wait, is it for turn or draw or for? Draw, draw, like, draw as an action. Draw as an action. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. okay. That sucks. I'm just gonna do it again and end my turn here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, okay. I is... mill because of the malevolent presence. Oh no, one of my threes. Oh, just, good. This is, this oh is my god. Good. That's very good. That's, so good. that's very good. <laughs> for context, every deck only has one. three threes, so. Uh, as you might have noticed, uh, because I didn't kill it last turn, I didn't have a three, so this, this might just snowball out of control very, very quickly. We are going to play Endless Followers, which gives me three cultists, and they all cost zero this turn. Nice. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to move this guy up, okay, and then we're going to go cultist and cultist, and then for a zero cost, I sacrifice any number of non-demon fighters I control, which are these two cultists, and I gain that many actions, so now I have four actions. He's comboing. So I am going to discard this and this and this to kill this guy. That's my one. That's one action. Yep. Two action, wow. I draw. Yep. Three action, we play that guy. Right. And then four action. What the? It yeah, was draw, play, and then four action. It does draw again. Nibble. Nibble of yeah, Rock Karas. It is, uh, it may not take move actions. This fighter may attack enemy fighters that are adjacent to any friendly fighter. Sheesh. Okay. Actually, wait, I want to put it here then, so. So oh, any friendly oh, fighter? Oh my god! Okay. Are you doing turn? Yep, and he's gonna move another guy in now. Oh no. Oh no no, we have to get rid of that somehow. How? <laughs> it's not possible. Okay, I'm gonna push These cards are better than mine. I'm gonna push that guy up to there. Oh no. And then I'm gonna summon Echo Inspector, which allows me to take the Mog of Brute and put it here. Alright, draw for turn. I will first Attack this. Awful. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Toss, which lets me toss a hunter next to a brute into an empty space. <laughs> okay. I think their cards are better yeah. than ours. I think so. Or maybe I just don't have enough dogs. The end of God, my turn. You don't have enough dogs. <laughs> I have a bone to pick with Pranav, by the way. He said that I didn't have that dog in me because I wasn't using the dogs. That was a choice, all right? You do got that dog in him. Well, let's see. I discard this one. What is it? Oh, That's a pretty good disgusting. one. Disgusting. Yeah. Uh, we just milled random like garbage on them. <laughs> Actually, no, we hit one of his good like. Yeah, uh, you got one of my. Frogs didn't really matter though. Okay. Well, um, have really no other options other than to, trade. Get rid of, yeah, trade. I'm gonna move this guy right over here. And that's it. Okay. I don't draw, I mill. I lose a one. Okay. Okay, I'll make this guy attack that, and then this guy attack that. That is cool and nice. So, so this dies, and then this one's gonna die, so. Okay. I'm going to die soon. You know, tempo-wise, we did something in the early game, but like, value-wise, we just lose. Okay. This guy's so much better than my guy. I'm gonna shift the skeletal soldier over and summon in a necromancer. Necromancer? Oh boy. I can just respawn one cost cards now. Why can you guys spawn stuff on our places all the time? What the heck? I can't do anything like that. I had one card that did it. They had like three. I'm just oh gonna God, move my ogre brew up one. What? And I don't comprehend. That and then deploys I will draw this. A card. That deploys another. Screw it. <laughs> I'm moving this guy. And uh, maybe drawing so many cards is not a good idea. You don't have it, I have it. Or like actually, I have does that do anything? Then just attacks and goes over anyways, right? Well, no, because then I'm. Gonna, oh, you're gonna do a thing. I'm just gonna do the thing. Okay. I, and it's it's so situational that I'm just gonna use it to skill one guy. I use barrage. Uh, it destroys all enemy one and twos adjacent to the target fighter. Uh, so that kills this guy. Okay. And that's it. That's the end of my turn. I mill. How many cards do you have left? That's a two. I think I have like three left. Yeah, I have three. Cool. Okay. Anyways, yeah, I'll have this dude attack that guy, and then he just goes in there, and then we'll just, uh... Is there even any point in attack? I mean, he's, he's gonna keep milling me, so I kinda have to. Or do it. Yeah, yeah, it might as well. Yeah, attack, doi. Sure. And then he's gonna play him all back again. Wow, look at that. Yeah, go ahead. 
Okay. Yeah. I'm going to move this guy over and then use the necromancer to summon this guy here. And yeah. here. No, you, 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 you can't do that. Why? Except for the bonus gate. This is not a gate. Yeah, that, that, that is, is a gate. gate. Oh, that's the gate. That okay, sure. Insane. I'll spawn him here and then spawn this adjacent. Wow. Uh, Pranav being the sure. cheater. Cheater, cheater. Uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. Now he's actually just out of the game. I mean, I already kind of was. The initial plan I had was using that guy to crick whatever the heck his name is. And I had cards in my hand. I was, I was going to mass sacrifice him over and over again and just sacrifice my other stuff and like my cultists. But because I couldn't do that, I was instead just like, okay, sure. He just moves up and attacks the gate. Like, whatever. Okay. Once we get Daniel out of the game, then it's, then it's uh, Steven's turn to die. <laughs> yeah, might as well just use everything that I have right now or else I'm going to hate myself for not using enough of my cards. So I'm just going to gain an action and move this guy that direction. Mm -hmm. That's oh. it. That's, that's, that's literally the extra action that I... I mill a card, uh, and then I guess I just pass. So, yeah, sick. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> Wait, what? You're not gonna... Don't okay. fall for oh, his so mind I tricks, I mill. Daniel. So you discard actions. Oh, quick. I should have milled that last round, actually. I forgot to draw last round. Oh, oh my god. Uh, so I milled two things, but hey, that's my other three cost card. That's oh, that's very bad. I'm gonna play the Skeletal Soldier and then attack over that way. Alright, yep. No, 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 no this yeah, thing yeah. dies too. Why, why, did, oh. why didn't you guys trade? You're right. Oh, yeah. Uh huh, yeah. Doi. Yeah. My bad, my bad. Doi. Mm. Uh, mm. I draw for turn. You have two complex. I will move I mean, Ogre Brew forward. And then I will play Demolition Expert. Yeah. Demolition Expert says, unstable. After this fighter moved or is moved, you may destroy it in all adjacent ones and twos. I like the experts in quotes. <laughs> <laughs> So he just blows everything up adjacent to just this guy, right? Yes, after it moves. I may choose to do that. Only ones and twos, though, right? Yes. Not three. That's still most cards, though. Uh, so I'm just going to deploy this uh, Solarian Soldier right over here, because uh, I feel like it. And um, Solar. I don't really see any other time I'm going to use this. I'm going to use Forced March, which is uh, reduces the cost of my move actions until the end of my turn. So I'm just going to move uh, this guy. It should read. Each of your fighters may take one move. Well, so that's fine, because I don't have any dogs anyways. But this is okay. a dogless run, so. <laughs> yeah. I already deployed this guy. I'm just going to move him over here. And I'm going to attack this guy, and we're both going to die. Hell. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. And then I'm going to move this guy up here. Advance. Is it my turn? Uh, I believe so, yes. Let's see what he mills next. Probably a good card at this point. Uh, that's the guy with text. That's pretty good. Mm, faithful servant. Mm, I forgot what this guy even did. You know, it doesn't, doesn't matter. He's dead now. All right, so the point is, uh, let's defend. Get out of here. Okay. Do that and put a guy. Hey, yeah, it's my turn. Woo, yeah, go ahead. Hell yeah. Do you have one card left? Yeah, and I have no cards in my hand. Because <laughs> they kept mailing me, so I didn't draw any cards. Uh, that's kind of stinky. I'm going to attack that guy with the Echo Incept. Spectre. Uh, yeah. You're attacking him? Yeah, 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 they both died in, right? Yeah, we yeah, both died then, right? That's fine. But he's gonna bring it back, so whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna trigger the Necromancer's ability to bring the Ecto Echoing Spectre back. <laughs> Wait, they just spawned right back. Yeah, so back you can put it in place. any non gate spot, which is just like. Oh, maybe you should have attacked. Oh, well. I'm gonna matter okay, there. That's my turn. Go ahead. All right, I draw for turn. Oh no. I have no more. I don't know. Fine. You can just. Give off. Play Ogre Shaman, which discards a fighter from my hand. Then I target enemy who is with equal or less power that is two or oh less squares god. away. So I discard a level two to destroy that too. Oh my god. All right, goodbye. My... <laughs> I still stand by my dogless way. Oh my god, <laughs> your dogless this is useless. Ways. Okay, that's fine. You're gonna put the card in your deck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'm just yeah, gonna. I'm, I'm just. Hungry. I'm just gonna draw Six. Woo! for one of my turns. Uh, that is still trash. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm getting sick of your guy just hanging sure. out here, so I'm just gonna get rid of him. Okay. Get out of here. Thanks. No problem. I, I don't know how, but that's probably gonna help you out in some sort of weird <laughs> niche way. I don't understand your your character. Uh, uh, all you know to say is as long as this guy's alive, he's just gonna keep bringing stuff back. That's fine. All right, Daniel, your turn. All right. Cool. That's no, you my three. You draw it. Oh, wait. You're fine. Yeah, I mean, you're good. I don't think I can do anything with that, but uh, and then this attacks that, and they both die. And then for my final action, I will play a deep rock soldier who will die anyways. So, go ahead. Cool. On my turn, I'm gonna draw, and I'll play. Uh, I'm gonna play Memento Mori uh, to put this card at the bottom of my deck. 
Dude, you can live longer what? than us. So I think... <laughs> <laughs> well, Jason, your turn. Alright, I'm gonna uh, play. Uh, oh, I'm wait, wait. Oh, Go ahead. just kidding. Go ahead. Oh, okay, I'm dying. Uh, I'm dying. I'm yeah, dead. he's not dying! See, he can't lose! I attempt to draw my stronghold and be destroyed. <laughs> wow. Jason dead. Oh my god, Jesus! He just- he just blew up, dude! Okay, well, um... <laughs> for my turn, um... Uh, I'm gonna play these two guys. Oh, and I got a draw. Um, that would have been really useful a long time ago. But anyways, I'm not dead. I'm still in the game. This thing's still here. All right, what's your turn? Oh, oh, you're, oh, you're forgetting you're, someone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's Are you, right. Do you don't want to attack this guy? Oh no! I draw I and I it. explode. <laughs> <laughs> Some ah. effect, effect, explosion effect. Your turn. Okay, I'm gonna. It's, it's a close card. game. It's a close game. Uh, and I'll play uh, Amalgam Brute here. And I'll trigger a Necromancer to summon Skeletal Soldier. <laughs> Is that it? Go ahead. Well, I'm going to play Solarin Soldier. He's a level 3 guy. And uh, for my second and last turn, I'm going to kill this guy. But it doesn't matter because you could probably bring him back. I think you just draw your stronghold and you've lost all that. And yeah. Oh wait, that's right. Doesn't matter. Does this mean I explode now? Or do I just kind of stay here? <laughs> Team dominant and impotent was a little too impotent, unfortunately. I think our refractory period yeah. was lasted way too long, dude. It was the entire game. Too long. Yeah. yeah. I was able to toss my guy. That, that was, was very cool. <laughs> I mean, you did use that combo and get the extra action yep. pretty well, too. That was yep. cool. I didn't get last place, although I still lost in the end, but hey, man, that's a win in my books. My books. You got a lot of books on winning. That was good knack. Good knock. Good, good knack. Quite the playthrough there. I reckon it gets more competitive once everyone has played their faction multiple times with the deck building, especially once they've played the 1v1 mode to get more games under their belt. Or you can just play the game free for all. Anyways, feel free to check out the Kickstarter link below, and there's also two coming expansions with factions. Two more factions, two more expansions. Thanks for watching this shelf side plays of Gudak. Hope it was fun and I have no idea what was happening at a certain point. All what I know is that I was all I know is that I wasn't in last place, and that's that's a win in my books, baby. <laughs> yeah, actually, technically by that logic, Jason was last. Yeah. <gasps> Loser! That's true. That's true. We're not I did say artists. I don't win very often. I, I do like the deck building part of the game. It, it is quite fun to, to to actually do deck building. I think this game does a lot of what I wanted War Bonds to do. I guess the good news is that I did have that dog in me when it came to uh, beating, or at least outlasting Jason. Our team name is Skins. Because <laughs> we have shirts on. Because <laughs> I'd be risen them dogs up. Let's stop this now. <laughs>